This is Neil. Full name is Neelanjan Sarkar. And I also have a few websites and YouTube channels and blogs with my uh, the name of Neil's Nirvana, N-E-E-L-S Nirvana, N-I-R-V-A-N-A. -A. You can look me up for that. So I share a number of video blogs, audio blogs, written blogs, um, as well as my own music, yoga and meditation sessions and so on, which I coach. So here I'm sharing one of my blogs, which I wrote about, a short blog, about a thought that came during meditation that at some level most of us do suffer from self-grandiosity and overestimation of our capabilities. We tend to put ourselves on a pedestal. We think we are greater. Now this is present at different levels or degrees, I believe, within different persons. This feeling can also be with regard to one specific area of one's life, not the overall personality. For some people it might be overall personality, for some it may be just about looks or wealth or education or whatever area. Although most people are considered modest and not aggressive or passive, some may lack self-esteem and such, but I believe that even those cases, there are some areas of one's personality which we internally believe are perhaps greater than others and perhaps feel grandiose in terms of compassion or maybe modesty or even honesty or such. The thing is that most of us do not feel that anything is wrong with this. But we observe that this can affect our relationships. Psychologists have so many different art categorizations and terms for these issues. As I was also looking up Google and there are so many terms like narcissistic personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder, bipolar disorder, so on and so forth. There are even subcategories between narcissistic oblivious personality or a vulnerable narcissistic and so on. My point is not about these disorders or treatments or anything like that. My point is just that a self-realization that some of these patterns of thought are there, exist, and this might be helpful for all of us. This can be part of our meditation practice. And note that I am a proponent, a strong believer, or rather experiencer of the benefits of meditation. Simply analyzing these patterns of our minds while we sit down for meditation might help us pacify and soothe the feelings of anxiety and, and uh, it would lead to a feeling of calmness and wellness and overall happiness. Again, please note that I'm not uh, saying or proposing that this is bad or this is a disorder or anything like that as I'm not a psychologist. I am just a regular human being and I'm writing down my thoughts in a blog and observations just in relation to my personal, personally beneficial med meditation practice. Hope you liked it. Thanks a lot. All the best in whatever your endeavors are. Thank you. Namaste.